Success in esports is fleeting. It is extremely difficult to become the best in the world and even more difficult to stay there. It is rare we see the same team claim the title in consecutive years, but it does happen on occasion. In League of Legends, it has only happened once. SK Telecom were the 2015 and 2016 world champions. SKT claimed their first world title in 2013. Led by their star player, Faker, the team looked unstoppable. In 2014, the unthinkable happened and SKT failed to even qualify for the World Championship. This forced the team to make a roster change, removing everyone but Bangi, the SKT jungler, and Faker, the most legendary mid lane player of all time. Bang and Wolf were brought in to form the new bot lane for SKT, and together, these four players would form the core of the back-to-back -back World Champion roster. In 2015, the team used Marin as their top laner and found immediate success. They won both the regular season and the playoffs in spring and summer that year. Although they dropped in the finals of MSI, the traditional strength of the Korean region made them the favorite entering the World Championship. They proved these predictions to be correct, going through the group stage and first two elimination rounds without dropping a single match. They did lose one game in the finals against the Ku Tigers, but were still able to convincingly secure a 3-1 victory. SKT At the start of 2016, Marin left to join an LPL team, leaving the world champions with the hole in their top lane. They picked up Duke, a promising young player who was named the MVP of the 2015 season. They also added Blank to share jungling duties with an aging Bengi. They struggled at first to rediscover their form, finishing third in the spring regular season, but found their stride just in time for playoffs. They won the spring split playoffs and MSI that year immediately putting them back on the championship path. Summer was a slight setback for the team, finishing the split in second place and being eliminated in the semifinals of the playoffs. Regardless, they had qualified for the world championship again, and with Faker leading the charge, they still entered the tournament as one of the favorites. SKT got off to a strong start in the group stage, finishing first in their group with a 5-1 record. This placed them against RNG in the quarterfinals, where they were able to secure a convincing 3-1 victory. Between them and the title of world champion stood two of their Korean counterparts. First up were the Rox Tigers, rebranded from last year's finalists, Ku Tigers. The series went the full five games, but Faker and friends were able to best the Tigers yet again to earn their place in the finals. Here, they found Samsung Galaxy an up-and-coming squad that would give them one of the best finals in League of Legends World Championship history. The series again went the full five games, but the experience of the SKT squad was able to win out and get them their second World Championship title. Few teams in esports have ever been able to do what SKT accomplished during this period. Winning three titles in four years and getting the elusive back-to-back -back World Championship titles at the highest level is a remarkable feat and one that will forever live in League of Legends history. SK Telecom have overcome every challenge. They are the undisputed best team in the world. The SKT reign continues. They win their third world championship.